As soon as it has become sufficiently matted together to form a solid mass, the curd is cut into strips at right angles to the vat. When possible to handle without breaking, the slabs are turned over. Meanwhile, cheese hoops are arranged along the press and rectangular pieces of cheesecloth are laid out in preparation for filling. The center cut is being made. The texture of the curd is further developed through a process called cheddaring. The word comes from a region in England where this type of cheese was first made. The blocks are turned repeatedly at intervals of approximately 15 minutes and are again kept warm by the canvas covering. Notice the stretching and thinning that has taken place. Blocks can now be piled in layers of two and three deep. On the right is Chris Cheever's cheesemaker wearing the protective hair netting which is a regulation requirement. Cheddaring is almost completed. The condition of the curd has changed from a tough rubber-like consistency to a mass having a smooth, velvety appearance and texture. The curd is sliced prior to milling. The curd mill slices the curd into pieces that resemble French fries. As well as giving flavor to the cheese, salt helps to release any remaining whey. It also curtails acid growth and prevents the formation of bacteria on the outer edges. Trenching allows the remaining whey to drain from the curd. A metal filler is wrapped with a sleeve of cheesecloth and inserted into the hoop. A flat-sided curd pail scoops the curd from the vat. It is weighed then emptied into the hoop. The hoop will contain 45 kilograms of curd, but after drying and shrinking will weigh approximately 41 kilograms or 90 pounds. A metal disc or follower is placed over the end of the cheese hoop. The hoops are designed so that the bottom section of one fits in the top of the next. A raised circular band around each hoop keeps them spaced evenly. With this press, air pressure is utilized, exerting a force of 80 pounds per square inch. This compresses the curd into solid blocks of cheese, called wheels. There are 12 hoops on this side of the press. The press is activated. After an initial pressing of 20 minutes, the cheeses are removed for bandaging. The cloth bandages are soaked in hot water. Also, hot water is applied directly to the cheeses. This helps seal the outer edges for easier waxing, as well as drawing off a certain amount of butter fat. Cheddar cheese has characteristically a firm texture and a low moisture content, enabling it to keep for extended periods of time.